Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how to turn full HD 24 video into 4K in 60 frames per second. And now you can see the difference between these two videos and you can admit that uh, upscaled video is uh, looks more realistic, more smoothy and uh, uh, have no difference between them uh, in quality, so even quality becomes better and more crazier. So now uh, I want to show you how to made it. So let's go. So for uh, our 4K video, we need to use Premiere Pro for for our start to create some clip and uh, of course uh, we need to add some movie and uh, add to choose some specific uh, moment for our video we want to make 4k in 60 fps uh, because uh, at as a default, every movie and uh, every another videos uh, usually make in uh, full HD and uh, 24 FPS and uh, uh, really rare at uh, 60 or, uh, or even 30 FPS. So now I guess uh, this enough and give me a check yes okay so for better 4k experience we need to remove these uh, up and down bokeh bars and for this we go to effect controls so in case you don't have it, you go window and uh, click effect controls and choose scale and uh, type 135 and uh, you need to type it for every for every part that you cut and uh, of course you need to go to sequence settings and be sure that you have 1920 to 9 1080 and of course as default you have 24 frame per second because um, there it is because usually every mo oh no because every movie goes in 19 uh, in full HD with uh, 24 frame, ra frame rate so mm, in case you want to make uh, some color change I uh, give an advice to you that uh, you can uh, make uh, change a color after we turn it to 4k in 60 fps and now you click go export you you can rename it uh, to something i name it cars cars and okay and um, click export um after this you need uh, to download to pass video i i.e artificial intelligence and this is how the yeah, update uh, official version is kind of update all my really too much and all we need is uh, to search our clip that we make uh, where it is where it is
and you drag and drop it and now we have our video and uh, in this uh, right section I can't uh -huh. uh, there is a settings so I make a preset for myself so you can just uh, follow in my steps and uh, set the same uh, settings so in this we uh, make a change from 19 from full HD to 4K and in this from original 23 1976 to 60 so you can uh, don't pay attention for another settings and uh, change encoder video to H264 H265 and uh, changed uh, file extension to mp4 and click export as and uh, it will be uh, rendered but it might uh, need it take time to render it even our to 12 seconds so now I continue when it will be done because for tw 20 seconds it needs 4 minutes even more so when the rendering is done we need to return to Premiere Pro <coughs> and create new project for our new video uh, it's um, much better than return uh, to our previous project because our previous project was uh, built by full HD and 24 FPS and now I gonna second uh, import our new video that we rendered now and uh, import uh, our default standard uh, I don't know uh, full HD video and I, I lost it ah found okay so now in case we put them one on another one you can see that our full HD is uh, uh, downscale in four times or our new video upscale in four times so we just need i want to move it for compression so now you can see the difference between uh, these two uh, clips uh, so mm. From this you can see and uh, understand that our 4K video is much smoother, is much better, it looks very... Uh, this uh, picture of these frames looks so sweet, so it... and of course it looks <coughs> more expensive than usual movie frames. And of course, uh, 4K video is better to color changing because artificial intelligence add more frames, add more beauty colors. So now we can uh, play with it. And of course, uh, I hope you take what you want, and I hope I helped you. So now I'm gonna say goodbye for you and now